there is another performance I did which um, which I had to get drunk uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, like I had to drink vodka uh, straight and then this was like half an hour before we videoed it, this performance it was in a small room with a videographer friend of mine and the whole point of the performance was about gender roles and the place of a woman in society and the place of a man in society. So in my drunken state, I had to thread 25 needles in that drunken state. And you can imagine 300 ml of vodka. It's no easy task. And at one point, uh, I managed 18, which really is, uh, I know, I know, I didn't expect it. <laughs> But afterwards, I, I blacked out, and I think for the rest of the day, the next time I woke up, I was in a different room. I had to be carried out of there, and um, like the whole mental aspect of it. And then now looking at the video that we took and seeing myself in this state, and it was like a whole different person because I think when you're doing a performance, you you take up this other role of somebody who you would not that is not you and i think also for Ato, like looking at her in a state of performance and i've seen her in other performances it's like just this other being and um, afterwards i think you just snap out of it and uh, depending on what performance you were doing and also if it's a long duration performance like she said it was for three plus hours that's a long time and you have to be in that space and really not allow yourself to be distracted by whatever else is going on. And then later now you get to put the work out there and you get it subjectively. And yeah, well, that's why. And come for me. And